Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. This is going to destroy the Democrats in 2022 and frankly beyond, unless they fix this very major glaring problem, which they seem to be completely delusional about. They are done, and I don't mean just done, I mean like as a political party, they're done. The warning signs are there. It's the reason they lost to a reality TV star billionaire in 2016. You think that'd be a wake-up call? You think despite all the factors in 2020, winning by 40,000 votes would be a wake-up call? Would also be a wake-up call. You think that the state of Virginia, flipping red as well as so many different voter demographics, following suit, would start ringing alarm bells at the Democrat headquarters. But it seems as though they are sleeping at the wheel, both figuratively and also literally considering Joe Biden, but they have yet to wake up. Democrats don't realize that they are completely out of touch with regular Americans. They don't realize that they're losing Latinos, losing African American voters, and of course, most importantly, losing the white working class. And I know that they must not realize it because they continue to make matters worse for themselves. And that's exactly what I want to show you guys for this video. I have a little clip from Joe Biden's most recent event that's essentially going to sum it all up and show you exactly why the Democrats are screwed, and I mean royally screwed. But of course, before we get into any of it, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share the video as much as possible. We are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm, hidden from non-subscribed viewers. With that out of the way, let's roll the tape. Alright folks, so first off, Bernie Sanders just did an interview with the UK's The Guardian. The headline shows, Bernie Sanders says Democrats are failing. Quote, the party has turned its back on the working class. Senator Bernie Sanders has called on Democrats to make a major course correction that focuses on fighting for America's working class and standing up to powerful corporate interests. <laughs> like, that's ever gonna happen. Because the Democrats' legislative agenda is stalled and their party faces tough prospects in this November's election. Bernie Sanders stated, It is no great secret that the Republican Party is winning more and more support from working people, Sanders said. It's not because the Republican Party has anything to say to them. It's because in too many ways the Democratic Party has turned its back on the working class. And I will address some of Bernie Sanders' statements probably later, but I just want to set the baseline here, because the overarching element of what Bernie Sanders is preaching here is correct. Let's once again play the game of contrast. Democrats, and Joe Biden specifically, have marketed themselves as the party of the working class, the party for the little guy. Well, if that's true, if Joe Biden is a president for the working class, would a Democrat president who claims to represent you ever say something as disgusting as this? I've been doing this a long time, but here's the way to look at it. If car prices are too high right now, there are two solutions. You increase the supply of cars by making more of them, or you reduce demand for cars by making America's poor. That's a choice. So Joe Biden on rising car prices says you can reduce the demand for cars by making Americans poorer. The question is, did Joe Biden just say the ugly truth or the quiet part out loud? Honestly, though, it makes a whole lot of things make more sense. Most of Joe Biden's decisions, actions, policies have been somewhat of a mystery. But if you take that as the stipulated goal, the goal of making Americans poorer, well, then everything Joe Biden does is no longer a mystery. It all starts to make Makes sense. It all starts to really come together now, doesn't it? I know things are getting real bad, folks. Everything's getting more and more expensive. You're unable to afford the things that you need to run your life. But look on the bright side. At least you becoming poorer might save the environment. You will be poorer. You will own nothing. And you will be happy, is essentially what I hear. With that type of ridiculous rhetoric, there is zero regard for the middle class, for the average working American. When it comes to Democrat leadership, they don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care about the consequences of their actions. They care merely about power and nothing else. Their response to the COOF pandemic should have warned you about exactly that. You're certainly not the one who benefited after they crashed the economy and closed down small business. I mean, what a slap in the face. What an insult. They closed you down, but they kept McDonald's and Walmart and Amazon and all the other major corporations open. I wonder why that is. Bernie Sanders' statement is an understatement to say the least. The Democratic Party has turned its back on the working class. Probably the greatest understatement of the year. And I can say that because 2022 just started. The Democrat Party has become the party of the globalist elite, Wall Street, and mega tech corporations. They've become the party of the billionaire class and the ruling class. And it's no wonder that free market capitalism, freedom in general, anti-globalism, 
nationalism, and Republican rhetoric in general is becoming more appealing. You know, Bernie Sanders in his statement said that it's not because the Republican Party has anything to say to them. Well, of course, he couldn't be further from the truth. And I mean, even if that was the case, if Bernie Sanders was correct and Republicans weren't saying anything to the working and middle class, that would be an improvement to what the Democrats are offering. The Democrats are offering government dependence, bloated government, out of control, federal, fiscal, lunacy, which literally makes you poorer, as Joe Biden even admits. And you know what I think most of the working class and middle class would appreciate instead of that? Literally nothing. You know what I think average hardworking Americans appreciate? Freedom, self-sustainability, paving their own path, working hard, and earning their way and their family's way through society, earning a good life. Something that you don't need the government for. If you have a job and earn a living, you'll have health insurance through free market. You'll be able to buy a home. You'll be able to pay for utilities. You'll be able to do what you gotta do. And if government spending wasn't completely out of control, well, a lot of those services would most likely be a whole lot more affordable, a whole lot cheaper. And if businesses weren't being taxed and regulated to the extreme, well, it'd be easier to start a business. It'd be easier to offer competitive prices, hire more people, more money would be exchanging hands. And so literally nothing from the Republican Party would be probably a better alternative to the big government mess that Democrats are offering. And that Bernie Sanders, of course, would exacerbate. What he's talking about here is that the Democratic party has abandoned the working class by not pushing through trillions more in spending, like I just said, fiscal insanity, endless government programs. What I think people are realizing is that government is probably the last entity that you want to rely on. I think people want to be self-reliant rather than government reliant. I think that's probably what people are waking up to. The government can give you a whole lot if it really wants to, but what the government can also do is take everything away as many people quite literally saw over the last year and a half. Government can make things better, but you know what the government is much better at is making things a whole lot worse. And as Joe Biden once again said himself, making you poorer. Hey, but at least demand for cars will be down. And then the United States' insignificant impact on global emissions might be reduced by a couple percentage points. Well, there you go. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez told you the planet's been saved from utter annihilation and the apocalypse that's only a couple of years away. Complete lunacy. It makes no sense. What Americans want and what the middle class want is normal life, society thriving, an economy that works, and most of all, freedom. At least most people want freedom, not the hysteric, coof, cultist lemmings on the left, of course. But we're talking about normal people after all. You guys get what I mean. And normal people are turning on Joe Biden at such an incredible rate. Joe Biden and the Democrats are in fact losing the white working class and the working class in general. They're also losing Latino voters, Democrats in the hot seat for treatment of Latino voters, with some of the most incredible numbers that we have ever seen coming out a couple weeks ago, showing a 50-50 split or a 44 to 43% split, accounting for the undecided essentially a 50-50 split between Republican and Democrats when it comes to Latino voters. The white working class, Latino voters, a small percentage of black voters, all should Shifting rightward pretty much spells doom for the Democrats, and they don't even seem to be paying attention at all. Either that or they're completely delusional, probably a mix of both. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, hashtag bare shelves Biden is trending on Twitter as Americans are starting to deal with empty shelves. But maybe it's a good thing. Maybe lack of necessities and eventual starvation from maybe it'll help save the planet. Maybe people getting poorer and people starving is exactly what the world needs. At least that's essentially what Democrats are arguing right now, which I guess is maybe making the point that the liberal utopia is in fact, in reality, the liberal dystopia. That's what I got for you though. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share it as much as possible. We are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm. I'm going to get back to work though. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.